today we are going to be painting the house. I have already done some preparations. I've gone around every single plug socket and put a sandwich bag around it, taped it up, kept all the screws in there so they don't get missing. Also, if you look up here, I have bagged up all of the lights so we don't get any paint anywhere. There is a reason why I've gone around and done this. Oh yeah, I've done all, all the windows and doors as well. I've been all sheeted up. Now the reason I've done this is not because I feel like my painting skills are rubbish, it's because I bought myself a new toy. And there we go, that's it, straight out the box. Now, I'm not at all review channel. I've never used this before, but I'll tell you what, I'm gonna let you know exactly what I think about this a little bit later on. The putting together of it, a little bit fiddly, but you follow the instructions, it's relatively simple. Got my paint ready, everything's all wrapped up to go, so I will put a few coats on a couple of walls, a bit of uh, mist coat first, 50% water, 50% paint, and uh, we'll see how this uh, Wagner works out. I'll leave a link to it down below in case you are interested in having a look at it. Let's get on with a bit of painting. Okay, so we've done one room through there, the first room you saw, and obviously now the room we are in. Now, this room, I started, uh, basically, the whole thing, painting, including I've run out of paint halfway through, so sorting that out and getting that in, 25 minutes. The whole room, one coat, 25 minutes. So if you don't need to change paint, if you get it all sorted first, I'd say maybe 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, you do whole room, one coat. Now, because I have to dilute this, because we are doing a mist coat, which is essentially 50% water, 50% paint. Some people like doing it a lot less, like more paint to water, but I like having it a bit wet. This is quite wet, so it does splatter around a bit. There is actually a setting here, which you can control. I can't, I've covered it in paint now. Minimum spray pattern, maximum spray pattern. So this is wide and this is as controlled as minimal as possible. So you can regulate that spray pattern quite a bit. Um, also, what else did I notice? Yes, obviously you need to tape up doorways because we've got a lovely tiled bathroom in there. Don't want to get any paint on it. Masking tape, low tack masking tape on here, held it on quite nicely. On the windows, I have got gaffer tape, so I would, either or, it depends what you're gonna do, um, but gaffer tape's good enough. Low tack masking tape will be fine. Either or, that's good. Also, I did notice in the first room, I didn't use any sort of PPE. Now in the second room, what I've done is, I've realized you definitely need a mask, 100%. And I would suggest using goggles, but the only problem is, when you do the ceiling, you just get paint all over it, and basically you can't see what you're doing. So unless you're constantly wiping it, I completely couldn't see anything halfway over that, that uh, ceiling that we did in here. This ceiling halfway it does get in your eyes and it does sting. So I would say if you can do it, get it, and just keep wiping it, Get maybe have some like uh, wet wipes or something, just keep wiping it as you go, that will work. On the whole, what a fantastic bit of kit. I am absolutely loving it so far. Uh, the only one thing is I've had to sort of cover up my camera quite a lot because of the spray. Um, so I'm probably gonna go around the whole house now, do the mist coat around the whole house, come back to you when that's done. 
because I don't really want to damage my camera too much. Oh yeah, I've got these on. Um, these are just headphones. I'm just listening to music while I do it. It's not terribly noisy. Hopefully from that bit of footage you could hear, maybe I'll play it here. It's not too loud, it's not too noisy, but put your headphones in, you can barely hear it, you can just hear your tunes, or if you are quite susceptible or sensitive to sound, then yeah, maybe headphones might be, uh, might be helpful. But yeah, on the whole, pretty good for the first couple of rooms. So yeah, I'm gonna go around now, I need to double check the staircase, make sure that everything is taped up because I do not wanna get any paint on these beautiful solid oak stairs. If you haven't seen the video on this, link in description, please go check it out. It's one of my favorite videos that I've done on this channel. So yeah, beautiful staircase. So yeah, please do check that out after this video. So I'm gonna get back to the painting and I will see you all very shortly. The time is a quarter to eight and I've done the whole house. Whole building, oh hello, whole building has been painted white. What a sight that is. Now I'll explain a bit more tomorrow because I'm absolutely knackered and as you can probably tell I could do with washing all this white paint off me. So. I'll come back to you in a minute. It's been eight or nine months since I last saw you, just a couple of seconds ago, and the whole house is completely painted, completely finished, completely done. As you can see, we've done some panelling as well in um, fo uh, feature colours, which looks quite nice. Is this sprayer any good? So, the good parts of it, I did the entire house, four coats, and I was, by the, by the end of it, by doing the third and fourth coat, I was doing, it was under 10 minutes a room. I was spraying it under 10 minutes, so, I could do two coats in the whole house in a day easily. Um, I took my time with it so I could understand how it worked, but once you get more and more used to it, you can get a lot quicker with it. If you want to paint a room in under 10 minutes, this is your sprayer. You can get to high ceilings just with the gun and just spray it. You don't have to get stand up on trestles or anything like that. It is very versatile. Um, you can have a small spray pattern, a larger spray pattern, so you can do smaller areas. Out and out, for 200 quid, it is an incredible deal. I'll leave a link down below for it if you want to go and check that out, so it'll be down in the description. It kind of almost looks like rolled on texture, like you the same kind of texture that you would imagine or that you would see if you just used a roller and did it that way. So it's not perfectly smooth. If you sanded it over and went over it and sanded it over and went over it, then you would get it smooth, but I didn't really want to do that. I like how it looks, that slight texture. So be wary, there is that ever so slight little texture on there unless you sand it over, etc., etc. Now bad points, I say bad points, they're not really bad points at all. Uh, all you have to do is you have to mask and tape and tape up windows and doors, which is fine. On a new build house like this, it is a lot easier because you don't have to cover up carpet because at the time I didn't have any carpet, obviously I do now. Um, you can't do feature walls unless you tape them up, but then you can do them very easily, like with this. You just tape it up and spray it, it's simple. With this, I did the first coat 50-50 water and paint, like a mist coat, but I found that it actually worked out better if I did the whole house, all four coats in that same method. So you mix up 50% water paint every time it runs out, but you're gonna have to do a paint anyway. So the time you're saving by spraying a room in 10 minutes is just insane. The only, the only downside to it is you have to tape up windows and doors. That, that's it. But the time it's going to take you to tape up windows and doors, like for this whole three bedroom house, it took me, what, a day to tape everything up? And then I did the whole... So you can do the entire house, including taping up, in a week. Easily. So if you're only doing one room, you could have it bashed out in a day easily. Uh, it's just a case of waiting for the paint to dry, and yeah, simple. Basically, put it this way, I'm never going to use a roller again, unless I have to do feature walls like this, and I don't want to tape up the whole room because there's carpet, doors, everything like that. I'll just paint that with a roller like I did. I painted it with a roller. Anything else, whole house like this, use sprayer, hands down. Yeah, all, all day long, you'll be amazed at how quick it actually is. So, all in all, can't really fault it, to be honest. 